Yo, how's it going everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here, and welcome to another review of the Boruto anime. We're going to be covering episode 207 of today's review. In this episode, covered the very end of chapter 41 all the way to the pretty much the first part of chapter 43, so all 42 was covered in this episode. We also got some additional scenes during the fight with Boro in this episode. So yeah, how was the episode overall? Well, before I get into that, you know the drill. If you're new to the channel you like this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It would be pretty cool if you did that. Anyways, let's get on to the review, shall we? So, since this episode was pretty faithful to the manga version of the events in this episode, this is going to be a pretty short review, as there's not a lot of, that I can add here. Obviously, we have Boruto Kawaki Mitsuki facing off against Boro. He's beating them down, and he's regenerating against all their attacks, and he's just laughing them off. And Sarada has her moment where she uses Chidori on Boro, gets the best of him, grabs his core that is in his body that he's been moving around all this time, destroys it. Uh, Boro turns into Ursula from The Little Mermaid, which is, I, I don't know, I just think it's hilarious that uh, I don't see any differences between the two. <laughs> but anyways, um, he goes berserk, Boruto and the others go and they free Naruto, but before they can get out of there, Boro you know, counterattacks them, takes out Mitsuki Kawaki nearly kills and crushes Sarda's bones. Boruto gets beaten down. He gets pummeled into oblivion. Like, Boro just beats Boro, Boruto into the ground. Like, he hits him, like, 15 times and is about ready to deliver the seemingly the final blow that would kill Boruto. But, as we know what happens, yeah, Boruto is mysteriously gone after that last punch. As it turns out, yeah, Boruto is right behind Boro. And suddenly he's gliding, he's levitating, and he's got a very dark, ominous aura around him. And as it turns out, Momoshiki has possessed Boruto to become Boroshiki, calling Boro an inferior creature. Yeah, next week's episode is going to be something else. And I have to say, I actually really like what they did with Boruto, or Boroshiki's voice, where it's basically Boruto's VA com combined with Momoshiki's VA to create like this like godly slash demonic voice. I like it. I was not sure what, what route they were going to take, whether they are going to use Momoshiki's voice, Boruto's voice, or a combination of both of them, but I like the combination route. It just sounds more ominous, in my opinion. So anyways, on to the differences between the anime and the manga, at least a few differences I saw. Now, to get the elephant out of the room, obviously we didn't get to see three Tomoe Sharingan Sarada in this episode, which I find to be pretty disappointing. I gave last week's episode a bit of the benefit of the doubt, because, hey, I'm disappointed with this episode that wasn't shown, shown up in this episode, but it could show up in next week's episode, and unfortunately it did not, so yeah. That is a, a, you know, a minus one point I do have for the anime version of this fight. I was really looking forward to Sarada using three Tomoe Sharingan in this battle, and yeah, it is a bit of a lit down. Obviously, she was the MVP in this episode, and we'll get into that in just a minute. But yeah, I was really hoping we'd see three Tomoe Sharingan in this episode. Now, despite the fact that I'm disappointed that Sarda doesn't have three Tomoe Sharingan in this episode, the Chidori scene was awesome, and I think it was done much better than the manga, in my opinion. Mainly because I like that Boruto and Sarada basically work together to trick Boro, so he didn't have enough time to weave, you know, you know, hand seals in order to move his core away fast enough so that Sarada doesn't strike it. I thought that was actually really clever what they did here, because in the manga she just ran up to Boro and it's like he wasn't paying attention. He's just like, oh, she's moving too fast, and then she gets his core. Whereas here, you know, she's, you know, running up to him, and it's kind of building up to it. You know, Kwaki and Mieski are facing off against Boro. They're getting beaten down. Boruto's getting beaten down as well. But he actually, before this, he actually looks back at Sarada and kind of acknowledges that she has a plan and that she can do it. And I just like what they did here, because uh, Boruto is going up against uh, Boro here. It seems like he's about to get punched, the final blow against him. But he actually ends up using a vanishing Rasengan to blow off his arm. And then at that moment, he does a backflip. Right as he does that backflip, there's Sarada with her Chidori. Before he can do anything, yeah, she basically takes out his core and destroys it. So he literally didn't have a chance to actually defend himself there or actually use his, uh, you know, hand signs in order to move his core. So I, I, in my opinion, I think it was done better than the manga. That's just me. In the comment section down below, let me know what you thought of this scene. Which version you prefer, the manga or the anime version of the Chidori? 
There's also some additional dialogue between Boro and the others that wasn't present in the manga. Obviously, Boro being, you know, a cult leader, you know, he wants to lead people to salvation. He's basically saying, yeah, I'm going to lead people to salvation, you know. And Boruto over here rebukes him. He's like, yeah, you're not saving anybody, which I find to be quite ironic because uh, a few episodes ago, Boro was like, yeah, there's these gods named Kaguya, Momoshiki, and Kinshiki. And they were murdered by the five great nations. But I've been chosen by God. And I'm going to lead you people to salvation to avenge them. Kind of ironic when one of those gods is about ready to nuke Boro into oblivion in next week's episode. I don't know about you guys, but I find that to be quite ironic and funny at the same time. There was also some additional dialogue for Sarada before she performed the Chidori. Which, I'm kind of mixed on it here because she talks about herself being pathetic. And that she's basically depending on Boruto and Mitsuki a lot. Which, uh, I don't necessarily agree with that because Sarada has saved Boruto and Mitsuki before. In fact, if it wasn't for her... They would have been annihilated at the first part of this battle. So I don't know why Sarada said this and that she's going to be the one to protect him this time. I felt like this was a bit unnecessary and kind of looks down on her character a little bit because, uh, yeah, she's saved them, you know, a number of times before this fight. So I don't get what why she would say this here. Does she just feel inadequate because Borto has karma now and he's a lot stronger? Not really sure, so yeah. I don't know why she said that. She's the one that saved the day. She was the MVP of this battle, so yeah, this uh, this was kind of unnecessary in my opinion. So overall, I thought this was a great episode in my opinion. It's a 9 out of 10 episode. One thing I will mention is that I'm noticing that there are some people that are complaining about Borshiki's art style in next week's episode. Yeah, I, I'm just going to say right now, just wait and see what happens in next week's episode. Because from what I'm seeing, it, uh, they're not really showing a whole lot off. So they might actually go crazy with next week's episode. So don't judge it until you fully see the episode. It does look a little weird, but yeah, I, I wouldn't judge it just quite yet. I, I know I said the same thing for the Naruto versus Delta battle. And that didn't exactly turn out that great. But, you know, you never know. Next week's episode could be amazing for all we know. So uh, I just say to those people, just be a little patient and just wait for next week's episode to fully judge it but i think it looks fine in my opinion but anyways that's all i got for this video so in the comment section down below let me know what you thought of this episode did you love it did you hate it what did you think about the differences between the anime and the manga which one do you think is the superior version in your opinion i still think the anime slightly wins just because the chidori scene was infinitely better than it was portrayed in the manga but that's just me but anyways Guys, post your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys later.